Well, good Thursday afternoon to you. Got a little special adventure for you today. We're headed to the Pine River Dam in Florence, Wisconsin, where they have dropped the water levels over 10 feet because they are maintenancing the dam. And today, we're going to explore and uh, check it out. Now, I don't know how much access I can actually get in or where I can go to, but I'm gonna do my best to uh, check this out for you guys. So yeah, they've dropped the Pine River um, well over 10 feet. And in the reservoir on top, where we'll be going here in a second, you can actually, uh, you can see the banks, you can see where the river um, used to run before they put the dam in. And it's, it's really interesting to, uh, to see what this river looks like without much water in it. All right, you see on my map where I am, there's King Street, Iron Mountain, Spread Eagle to the north, Florence, straight up to the north. And I am right here. Right on the Pine River Floach, we are down below at the dam. Now the dam actually sits over here somewhere. And this is a channel they've put in to flow the water in to power the dam. So that is where I am right now. All right, well that's where we are right now. And as you see, uh, part of the Wisconsin Wild Rivers, Pine River Falls straight ahead. We're gonna go that way in just a second. Right there you see the green uh, tubing that the water normally runs through, powering the generators here. But currently, there is no water. So as I said before, they've shut down the flow and they are not running water through those tubes, creating electricity while they work on the dam. Anyway, we're gonna take a little walk right down here. They've got these uh, cool stairs here behind me um, that lead down. This is a, a canoe portage to uh, let the canoeist get by the dam. And that's where we're coming down to here. I wanna see uh, what the river looks like below the dam here. Now I guess from this point down, you can't really tell a whole lot that the water is down. We're gonna take a little walk along the river's edge here. Now I'm not really ever down here when the water is flowing so I really don't know what it looks like or uh, how fast it comes out but I've got to imagine it probably comes down those tubes and uh, out the gate there pretty quick this is kind of cool huh all right well Again, I don't see anything telling me I can't go up here, so that's where we're going to go. Ooh, scary. Oh, look at the butterflies. Where they go? They're all over here getting a drink. Pretty cool, huh? Butterflies. Boy, if anything will put butterflies in your stomach, it's walking on top of this grate right here, knowing how much water is right below you. I am not really a, a fan of this at all. And yeah, that's pretty cool, huh? And now I see this going up that way. But I'm not, uh, I don't know where it goes to and I really don't want to go that way, so. Pretty cool view from here, huh? All right, walking back now. 
I'm telling you, I, I really don't like, uh, I don't like this crate going over the water. I know how to swim. I don't want to swim with my camera. All right. Well, it's not even better now, but... I don't know what that noise was. All right. Back across all this stuff and let's take a walk up to the top. And again, authorized vehicles only. I'm walking. Pine Reservoir Drawdown. May 21st, coming down a foot per day, approximately 12 feet, which they're at now. Metal detecting, driftwood collecting are prohibited. Again, these are the big tubes, big water tubes that carry the water down. And uh, we're gonna take a walk here in a little while. We're gonna get up on the back side of that and uh, check those out. For now, let's go this way. I highly suspect that pathway that was down here comes up to this fence where you're not supposed to be. And I'm kind of glad I didn't go that way, huh? That's pretty cool. Big wires and resistors there. That's so cool. Right, well, when I get up to the end of this road, the video will be back. Oh yeah, already around the corner. River's right there. And lo and behold, got a canoeist or two coming down. How you doing guys? Good. Not too bad. How you liking the low water? Nice. That's pretty cool. Not very often you can look under the floodgates and see sky. Pretty cool. So there's where the floodgates are, where they allow the water to pass by in the event of floods. But as you know, all dams create power, and this is how they do it here. So they cut this diversion channel into the river here, and uh, well, they fill up the water, divert it, send it down to those big pipes that we looked at, and voila. That's another scary one, huh? All right. Anyway, take another peek back this way. That's pretty cool. And you can see how much the water has drawn down.
You're right. So, I want to go down here and check out uh, this diversion channel. <laughs> There's crawfish all over in there. Oh, that big one right there. Back under the rock. They're all over the place. Pretty cool. We're gonna walk down this uh, channel here a little bit without being yelled at too bad and uh, see what we can't find. Very cool in here. Again, most of this area has never uh, been above water for much time at all, but this summer, this summer, it's gonna be exposed the entire year. Those big stones right there that never did fall in. Now I'm told that there's a fault line that runs through here and now with the water so low you're able to see it so I thought it would be kind of neat to walk back in here while the water's down and uh, give us a different perspective of what it looks like. Now, I don't know if this is gonna be part of their plan to uh, maybe reline this. I can see the liner up ahead there. You can see how much damage it's had over the years and how it's kind of fallen back and fallen apart, really. And I'm guessing probably from here forward, it's gonna be uh, mostly water, so at this point, I'm probably just gonna switch over to the other side. All right, well, let's cross over to the other side of this diversion channel, and we will walk our way down and uh, see what's down there. Whoa. Look at how black everything is down here. And then you can kind of see where the liner sits now and all the crawfish that are in here. Now look at the old liner and how it's really uh, just been deteriorating over the years, I guess, huh? All right, well, we're gonna walk up here to this upper ridge. I'm gonna walk this line in right here. How cool is this, guys? Normally this is full of water and it is running through the generator at the Pine River Dam, creating electricity. But for now, while they got the uh, reservoir down so they can actually work on the dam, um, everything's empty. I'm not exactly sure how they know that a fault line ran through here on old maps is where I saw it posted and uh, yeah oh look at this this is the upper part of that wall and it has either collapsed back or the center just literally washed out Bar. It 
scary part is this whole thing could let loose at once and take my ankles right off. And I don't want to walk on this wall either because I don't want to damage it any more than it already is, but the damage back here is pretty extensive. I think we're finally going to see where those tubes would uh, run in. Whoa, we're not walking on this though. Look at that, that's, that's really washed out. And uh, under cave too. All right, we're gonna have to, ooh, that one's under cave too. Man, I hate to have a bear come running out of there right now, eh? I'm not sure about you, but I actually thought that was kind of scary. The sound that made and uh, the, what it just did but this is pretty cool check it out the water comes in and it collects right into this big reservoir and those two chambers there are where the tubes are and the water feeds into that goes down to the generators and creates electricity and I'm parked just down below this on the right, so that's the kind of reason I'm going this way. All right, that's just so cool. No trespassing. Well, already made it this far and that's the first sign I actually saw about no trespassing yeah so I can't really go past this point just because I saw the sign and really that's just because I saw the sign I don't want to put myself on camera and then trespass where I'm not supposed to be that's the first sign I saw on this side so I think my only really good option is to go back across the way I just came and then cross over to this side and there's a little road access right over here that goes back down. So I think that's the way I'm going to go. But man, look at all this stuff in here. Again, this is the uh, reservoir that feeds into the generator at the power plant. I guess it's good they uh, drew it down. They can get in here and pull all that material out. Yeah, that poor turtle just didn't make it. Doesn't that sound really cool? Sounds like a speaker or something. Kind of echoes back, back, back. <laughs> All right, let's keep walking this way and see if my voice just keeps following me. That's pretty crazy, the amount of uh, damage to the edging over there. and. Again, I don't know if this is part of their uh, their dam uh, reconstruction or if they're coming in here to repair this or what exactly, but that's pretty crazy, I'd say. Let's uh, keep on chilling here. Again, I would uh, love to just run down there and run up the other side, but I don't want to be held responsible if something did break or I went through and then, you know somebody coming back and telling me that I would be responsible for that damage. We're gonna walk up here on the higher side because I really just don't want to, like I said again, uh, make something worse than it already is. Now look at this big rock right here. Totally out of place. Definitely here uh, when they constructed the dam. That's pretty cool, huh? Totally sunk in here. I really hope you enjoyed this video so far of the Pine River, of the flowage, of the dam, 
of this reservoir that uh, feeds into the generators. And now we're gonna take a walk down below to where the river flows, where all the rocks are, and uh, kind of see what we can check out there. So thanks a lot, everybody, again, for joining me. This is, again, in Wisconsin. We are in northern Wisconsin, just south of Florence, Wisconsin, and checking out the Pine River flowage. So we've got to find a good way to get down there without going over that edge right there. Okay, so I just watched that guy a little bit ago when we came in here carrying that canoe. This is the way he went with the canoe, so. I can see where somebody came down in here. I wonder if he rode it down. That would be fun, hey? Ride a canoe down the hill. Whoa, a little slippery in here. I can hear the water. I haven't found any ticks yet, but I'm sure that by the end of this journey, we're gonna have plenty of ticks. All right, cross back over here now. That's looking pretty cool. After this, we'll take a drive up to the top of the reservoir and you can actually see uh, the lack of water up there. Pretty cool. We'll be up there in just a little bit, but first we gotta check this out, because this is pretty cool, hey. Wow. Just gorgeous. Check out these rocks again, sideways down uh, into the riverbed. I love how it just uh, comes down the edge. Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. <laughs> I don't think those were bubbles. Decided I'm going to go up river just a little bit. This is pretty cool. I just noticed the water coming down the rocks right there. Let's keep moving and see. I mean, I could go stand down there and go walk over there, but I want to move on up a little bit more. Let's keep going and see what we can get into. Look at that. And down river you go. Oh yeah. Made it to the top here. Look at this monster. You don't want to fall into that. You're done for. That's pretty crazy, eh? Let's take a little walk up farther and uh, check out where the water's coming from here.
got more rocks and stuff back up there, but we're not going to go anymore. This is where we're going to stop our little uh, journey, I think. I'm not exactly sure how far up I got to go, but you're going to come with me as we go back down. And guys, I'll be loading a bunch of pictures and different things to my Facebook page. Jason Aslan, video news and more. Don't confuse me for a reporter, I am not. I just enjoy sharing videos I produce and make, videos I see, and uh, news stories locally where I live. Some people like it, many people don't. Whatever it is for you, that's your decision. I guess we're going to the high road here. Always got to be careful when walking on pine needles. They are very slippery. And I did walk down the bottom to get here. But I saw this path here. Figured you may as well take it. We're going to go up now because I know that the road and stuff is right over here. Whew. That's a pretty, pretty cool place to go. I thought the road was right over here. Alrighty, and back to where I started here, right along the uh, power plant. <laughs> High voltage, do not climb. Yeah, you think? I think only an idiot would try to get up there. And here are the big tubes again. Empty now. That's another reason I didn't go up there. What if I came up to a fence and I wasn't able to get out? Alrighty. All right, well, let's jump in the truck and uh, we'll take a ride above the dam and we'll check out the flowage area where uh, the waters really come down, where you can really notice. I think you'll enjoy that. There's a lot of driftwood, a lot of old wood, and a lot of things to see. So come along, sit back, and uh, enjoy the ride. All righty, and we'll go this way and go to the top of the flow here. Pine River flowage. So there's the dam we were just on. And as you remember, we went to the right there where that reservoir goes. Doing a lot of work on the dam here. Not very often you can see that much of the floodgates. Pretty cool, huh? Oh yeah. I know what you're thinking right now. I know what you're thinking right now because a few days ago, me and my friend, we were thinking the very same thing. All these people that go fishing and uh, lost their lures, lost their fishing poles, lost whatever they had with them when they came out. Somebody's already been down here. If you follow the uh, Pine, Popple, and something else river. So there's a group on Facebook that's been down here almost every single day, checking out the water levels. They've been here exploring with the canoe and uh, just really updating everybody on what's going on here. This is something that you won't see again for probably 40 years. I thought was really cool was right over here there is some rock sticking up out of the water. Yeah, so that rock, that rock hasn't been above water in a long time. Yeah, so as you can imagine, uh, 
a lot of people have been down here walking. Here's the boat launch. Kind of not much of a boat launch right now. I'm kind of curious if anybody has been fishing out here. Because I would imagine, thinking about how much water is not in here anymore, there's got to be some monster fish still in the middle here. Just waiting to be caught. Look at this. Now they say the lines are the days that they drew down. You can actually see all the lines going down. It was about a 12 day process is what they figured it would take them. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Perfect day to do that. Let's keep walking. Well, you can see where the water level would have ran on this. All this wood right here is down under the, down underneath the water. And you got trees and stuff still growing in there. We'll see if they make it uh, the summer without being watered. I know that if you're a fisherman, this is the place you want to come right now. Maybe not to find lures or fishing rods or something you can uh, take, but to find out where all the holes are to where these sandbanks come off and kind of opens up right here. This would be a nice place for some fish to come up. And as you walk back here farther, you can see again exactly how far it drops off. I mean, if I was a fisherman, I would come right here to this point where, you know, the rocks are deep enough and you could come out here to this end of the rock and fish off right here. I mean, can you imagine sitting right here? You'd be, maybe you're knee deep and bam, right there. Very cool, very cool. So I was just chatting with him. Uh, he is out here looking for some old wood that someone posted about. There are some old logs out here with some stamps on the end that they suspect have been in here for a long, long time. Um, they would have predated the dam because these logs uh, would have floated down or, or for whatever reason, but he was looking for them. I, I told him I think they're on the other side of the river. I, I believe that's what somebody had posted online on Facebook is that those those logs were down river or I mean across the river. But either way, pretty cool. See here, it's pretty. Uh, we'll walk out here see what we can do. Just the other day, uh, there's no way you could have walked out this far. You would have sunk to your ankles. So. Walk over here and check this out. The dragonflies right here. I think this is the one I took a picture of the other day that was uh, really cool inside. Look at that. That is so awesome. Just crazy looking, hey? Alright, let's keep walking and see what else we can find here. 
What's crazy is the amount of rocks and stuff that's right here compared to the soil that's up here. And we got sand. I'm a rock hound. I don't know if you knew that or not, but a lot of rocks really interest me. That's kind of cool, eh? Hey? Nice colors in that. So I'm always looking at the rocks and uh, different colors, different patterns. I can hear water running over here. Big old rocks in here, huh? Look at that nastiness there. I'll bet if I tried to run across that, I bet. I bet I'd be ankle deep. What do you want to bet? I want to get over there. We'll go up here and we'll see if we can't get across this. See how bad I... Nope, 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 nope. Not happening. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Um, <laughs> those are mine. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. We're not going that way. That's what you need a boat for. <laughs> oh man, that could have been bad. <laughs> I kept thinking I'm going to my knees and there's no stopping me. Oh man. Look how, look how beautiful it is out there. Just gorgeous. Oh, that, that mud, I'm gonna have to take care of that mud before I get in my wife's vehicle. It stinks. I just picked up a piece of driftwood that had something in it. Do you see it? <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video of the Pine River, the dam, the flowage, and the reservoir. I know it was a long one, but you know me, I like long videos. Again, this is just south of Florence, Wisconsin, and they expect it to be like this for all summer long, so no rush to get down here. When you make it, you do. But there's a lot of cool things to see. If you got a kayak or a canoe, definitely bring it and spend some time out here on the river. Anyway guys, make sure you give me that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, make a comment down below. I love talking back with you or at you. And uh, definitely share this video if it's something you like. And uh, man, what, can I, what else can I say? I mean, look at the beauty here. Just how can you get any better than that? From Pine River Flowage, Jason Aslan. Everybody, you have a great day. Get out and explore where you live. There's no excuse not to.